worth coming to Walt Disney World for on its own. That is absolutely awesome. And it's a 240 minute wait. But I was stood over here and there was a VI, I was stood there and there was a VIP party. And I was just stood behind them, just wondering what to go and do next. She said something and I nodded and went, oh yeah. I don't know what she was saying. And she went, well go on then, you're gonna catch up with the rest of your group. So I went, okay. The VIP guy was going, oh, like, who are you? And I just went, oh, all right, yeah. And all the way to the front. Let's save myself four hours. Well, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, I'd not seen anything on YouTube. I hadn't watched anything to do with Galaxy's Edge. Uh, none of the rides, nothing, definitely nothing to do with that. And that was without a doubt worth coming to Walt Disney World for. It's awesome. I'm buzzing, that was so good. Ponchos everywhere. Don't do ponchos. It's like wearing a bin bag. I've got a brolly, but I'm not going to take the brolly out for a bit of light rain. Not soft. Oh, I'm buzzing, that was so good. Also, it goes on for ages as well. Well, you would have seen that because you just watched it, unless you didn't. And if you didn't, then it means you're not watching this, which means you're a banana. Oh, Muppet Vision. Chuckle Vision, Muppet Muppet Vision. I love those weird rat things, they, they crack me up. Yeah, we're diving here. Thank you. Oh, I love animal. It's the best one. Prawn, not Tron, Prawn. Muppet. Absolutely loved the Muppets, I was cracking them out. Well, we've done most of this stuff. I might head home, come back later. We'll go to Epcot, we'll go to Universal. I don't know. It's a wet. It is a really wet. I've just put the idea of having a pizza back in the apartment in my head. I'm one of those people that as soon as I get an idea, Ah, I like a pit bull with it. I won't let it go. The thought of getting home and getting that pizza. Mm, and a nice hot chocolate. Oh, I didn't go for a swim. Oh. Cheers for splashing me, little man. Right, the only things I haven't done or really wanted to do. Oh, the Indiana Jones show. I don't think that's open yet. Tower of Terror, we'll come back and do that. I want to do that a few times. Smugglers Run. Yeah, come back and do that a couple of times as well. I'll redo Star Wars, doing Rise of the Resistance again. Definitely doing that again. That's without a shadow of a doubt, that's the best ride at Walt Disney World. It's worth coming to Walt Disney World just to do that. Oh, it's a must-do park this is now with that ride. I'm just buzzing after that Rise of Resistance. And especially, I know I've said it before, that VIP party was there and they thought I was the lady who was buzzing everyone through. Buzzing everyone through, doing the bing with the machine. The woman who was doing that, she just went, oh, well, hurry up, you're gonna, you, the group's going. And I went, oh, all right. And that was it. And they went, come on, through the move, through. And I just like tagged on the back. Before you knew it, we were at the front. Just walked us onto it. But every time you think it's gonna end, there's more. Ah, it's brilliant. I absolutely loved it. Plus I'm feeling like a bit of a king because I've got a brolly and everyone else is getting wet. <laughs> I've got the idea of that pizza in my head now. I know you can say, oh, why don't you have pizza here and have their pizza? Because I want a pizza and a hot chocolate and a swim, and I can't have a swim with pizza Rizzo there, can I? Hey. Yeah, we'll go back. I might go to another park. I usually do this anyway. I only usually do a park till about two or three, two o'clock, three o'clock, absolute later. Then go and have a swim for a couple of hours, and then go and do another park in the evening. Got me vlogging head back on. So I can give a monkey's who and by. Off we go. Oh. Down that side. Okay, sorry. I'm a div. I was just walking out where you're coming in. Because I'm talking to you like I'm not paying attention. One bonus, if you can call it a bonus, is that you haven't got all the argy-bargy and the pushing for the trams at the end. Because there ain't any trams. I've got a good pair of legs. I can march myself out of here. I don't think we're too far from home. Yeah, it leathered it down. I wasn't bothered, I would have stayed out, it don't bother me, that sort of thing. If it rains, it rains, that's why I got a brolly. Let me just turn that down. Cooking now, it's too hot. It's extremes with this 
Dodge Caravan. Now I might go back to Hollywood Studios, but I've got a pizza in my head and a nice warm hot chocolate, something like that. And I thought, oh, God, I couldn't get it out of my head then. But no, that's it, we'll go now. What do you do here? I think we need the right hand lane. Well, we do need the right hand lane. Well, that's the indicator. All right, calm down, windscreen wipers. It looks like you're having a fit. Stop overreacting, chill. Surprise. Night trip. Guess where we come. Yeah, we have got managed to bag a lightning lane pass for 20 past six. Be lucky if we make it for that, because I got lost. Made it at 6.21 and the fast, the lightning lane pass expired at 6.20. Look at me, Aiden, look at me. And I can't breathe because I had to steal this thing on straight away. <gasps> it's all good though. Cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. Sorry if I'm all sweaty, I just ran from the car park to get it. Oh, no, you're fine. We're all wet anyway. Hey guys, you need to pull my strap on your right hand side. Right hand side. Sorry. That right, not the other right. I had like three minutes and I went. <laughs> And when the life lady just said, no, you're right, you've got 15 minutes if you're late. Oh. I said, <laughs> oh, <for you>. thanks. <laughs> this is helping. Oh, this is helping. <laughs> I'm sucking it down about six inches every time I breathe in. It's going to be the heat coming off me that causes it. <laughs> Go by the sweat patch I've just developed on my back. It's wet magic. That's right, wet magic. So that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. That's what I tell the missus at home. That's wet magic, guys. <laughs> Enjoy it.
the blast, that was good. I had too many vloggers moaning that the Statue of Liberty is bent. What's it? Nah, uh, it's a bit of a fish eye, it looks good. Five minute walk on this. Do this. A manera de recordatorio, no tomar fotos con flash y luz de video antes de llegar a Ninander. Thousand what? Now you've already been organized into tables, and soon each of you will be assigned a position. You have selected orange to do more intense training. If you are prone to motion sickness or made uncomfortable by closed dark spaces, simulators, or spinning, you may exit the flight training area now. Ask a uniform no, crew member for directions to the green team, less intense training area. Ask a uniform crew member for directions to the green Come team, on, less get intense over there, open the door. Area. Congratulations, team. You have been selected to train for a mission to Mars. Teams Rock's are awaiting your arrival at it. the landing site here at Ballas Marineris. Your mission is to get to that landing site. Your flight path to Mars will take you around the moon for a lunar gravity assist. But even with that slingshot, your trip will take three months. So we'll have to put you into hyperspace. My Esther runs out, they'll send me on. Don't worry, it'll only seem like a second or two to you. I'll give you a wake-up call when you get to Mars. T minus three minutes and count. Okay, now listen up. Here are your assignments. Navigator, you'll fire the thrusters for lunar orbit insertion and That's me, then. to the surface of Mars. Pilot, on my signal, I'll need you to trigger the second stage rocket. You'll also deploy the shields. That's me, then. Commander, you will be responsible for first stage separation and activating manual control for landing. That's Engineer. Me, then. When it's bedtime, you will activate hypersleep. You will also extend the wings for landing. Don't worry. Right, when it's time to push the buttons, they will light up. Then I'll give you the go. One last thing. In the event of an emergency landing, there are control sticks at every crew position. Okay, Lieutenant. Any final instructions for our new kids? When the flight Don't let AD drive. Follow the markings on the floor to your capsule. 
Then move all the way across, taking your crew position in the cockpit. Then reach up and pull down your restraint. Now listen carefully. Leaning forward, then closing your eyes, <laughs> left or right during your flight could disorient you. So keep your head back against the headrest. Keep your eyes open at all times and focus straight ahead, even if you start to feel disoriented. They're all yours, Capcom. Well, I guess that's everything. Good luck, Mars team. You are on the clock. She was giving me sexy eyes. Get in front of you, then reach up and pull down on the restraint. Now remember, during the mission, you will be initiating lunar orbit and descent. Commander, just remember your assignments. First stage separation and manual control. Loading flight There's plan. only me on it. Engineer, just a reminder, okay. you will activate this hypersleep one. and extend and the wings. One. And all of them! They're all mine! All mine! So much legroom! So much legroom for Eddie! Ooh, big ship! Cabin pressure! Picture of a big ship! Buttons for the COVID-19 to press! Yes, have some of that! Press everything! That's it. Touch everything. I have hand sanitizer, baby. Hand sanitizer, baby. I'm touching everything. Look at me touch everything. I'm so excited. This makes me feel sick and I love it. Uh, oh, new graphic. Anti-vac. Anti-back. I'm waffling because I'm tired. Good luck, team. All of us here it. at Mission Control are proud to be a part of this historic liftoff. This is doomed to failure if I'm flying. things. You're looking good, team. Cheers, love. Pilot, I'm pressing other stuff. second stage rocket. Now. I can't reach it. Ugh, can't reach it. Computer override engaged. Yeah, override. Velocity. Doing me bit. Let's go. You should have visual of the space station now. Okay, see it. You're on for your slingshot around the moon. Oh. Uh-oh, uh meteors. Meteors! Quick! Oh, shit! Ah! It's going to be belly out again! The belly's out! Beautiful sight, isn't it? Something to dream about on the way to Mars. Engineer, activate hypersleep. That's me! Activate. I need it! I'm pressing everything! I'm pressing stuff. Press the button. Rise and shine. Let's go, team. That was too quick. I'm still tired. This meteor storm is directly over your Mars landing site. Uh oh. Pressing stuff. Let's go. Wait, wait, it is. Too much pressure! It's too much pressure! 
Space, the orange one. Space, yes. Space, it's barely a... Oh, brilliant fun, though. I had the old thing at myself. I just poked myself in the eye with this thing. Star Wars Lego, Star Wars Lego. It's okay, I went on about one of here. I spent about $350 already on Star Wars Lego. Test track's closed because of the weather. They put a notice saying they closed it for the rest of the night. It's better this year with this light in it. Closed. I'm trying to find Club Cool, but I don't know where it is. I'm still looking for Club Cool. I'm in Creations, the shop. I've just walked around this. Look at that merch. Oh, it's the 50th. $298 for that bag. Oh, I like this t-shirt. I was going to buy the wristband, the Disney dad wristband. But I ended up getting this one instead. Oh, it's got the Mickey on it. I'm walking around in circles trying to find this place. Hopefully, it's out there. Found it. Try them in that order. Viva Raspberry from Moldova. My favourite, and it was awful. That was that one. This one's Royal Philippines watermelon. I might not have my own money. That's nice, that is. That's the best one so far. Oh, that's all right, and all. Draw at the moment between them two. Merengue. Just like a tropical, like Lil. Right, this is Madagascar, the bonbon anglais. Same thing, that's alright. Right, the Beverly, that's from Italy.
definitely ignorable that one. I'm not a fan of that at all. I don't know how that's minging. <coughs> Grim. So I think the Koreans had it there. Cheers. Beverly was disgusting, I spat it all back out. It's my favourite ride, this. Oh, I'm a bum soaking wet still. In the morning, my buttocks are wet. I wet the bum cheeks. Ah, Bentito Donadak. Jose Carioca. Oh, Mimsy Beast. The Gaia. A naughty. I see Egypt, I think Indiana Jones. All right, so Ali's writing then. I can't understand that either. The Venetians invented Abacadetic This would be the bloody Romans, all Greeks. No, with maths comes exams. He's a spitting image of our postman. And he also got his arse handy to him by the British. Fact. He needs a chair. He needs a woman. And in 1982, Steve Gutenberg was in Police Academy. They just did that so they could look at nudie ladies in public. Michelangelo, the best of all the Ninja Turtles. Some of that technology hasn't reached real yet. Good job, ladies.
he stuck it to the Nazis. Good on you. I need more chairs in that front room. Oh, hello. Foxy. Here comes the invention of the World Wide Web and Internet. Again, he only did that look at nudie ladies. Here's the Matrix. You're the one, Neo. You're the one. Ma, ma, ma. Ride is finally over. Nearly over. Get on with it. That's enough of my waffle. Let's take a look, shall we? Welcome to the future. Or should I say, your future. Here in your future, getting away on vacation is a breeze. Your smart suitcase knows where you're going and what you'll need. And with solar power from your home fueling station, you're off. Don't worry about the house. A PDA with remote control can take care of anything you forgot. I don't look like any of those two fellas. Holographic Allison? No. Well, which one of those two fellas am I? Am I the black man or the Asian man? It's empty in it. Let's get out of there. We'll watch the fireworks. Oh, I've got me. Epcot ears on at the Merry Year Market. Rachel, thanks Rachel. Voices calling out in search of one another. We find each other in song.
Don't forget to subscribe, do all that good YouTubery stuff. Hope you enjoyed the uh, the day today. It was a pretty epic day. I'm absolutely shattered. I'm not walking dead and falling asleep here. You give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you tomorrow. Later, dudes. Bye.